after the damn footage release, Tariq, for some reason, he didn't got strong as hell. Boom. He kicked down the motherfucking door. He put a little shoulder into it. You could do it, put your back into it. Now, he shows up, and they looking for it, and no one has any idea where the hell Diana is. Now, you hear Monet saying, you must have seen that footage. And you sent them goonies after me. You was about to put a hit on me. Tariq said, man, you told me you didn't do it, so I ain't sent nobody after you, man. I stood down. I ain't do nothing. So everyone's wondering, what the hell is going on? Where's Diana? Now, you you hear Braden, and Braden in the back, he ain't really on to nothing. He's just like, man, she ain't here. What we going to do next? How we going to eat? I know Kane ain't got his hands on his hip. <laughs> I know you lying. But Monet and Tariq, they have an understanding with each other. She's like, look, you were coming to shoot at me. He's like, man, you told me you didn't do nothing, so I didn't do the shooting. But Drew and Diana, you know what we got to do. We got to stand on business right now. And then we start to hear Kane agreeing. Kane finally says, I don't trust Tariq like that, but we have to do exactly what he's saying. We have to agree with, with Tariq. Even though I don't want to, we got to. Yeah, Braden was on another level. Braden, I, and the mother. Kane agrees with Tariq. They both looking at Monet. Of course, you know, in Tariq's mind, you do you guys believe that Tariq was nervous at this point? Not necessarily nervous that like Monet was here, but just having Kane around, you know, you always you always notice there's like a weird person in the crew or something that's kind of like fidgety. So you're watching them. You don't know what Kane to do. Because when Tariq started to approach Monet, you seen Kane step in front of her. It's like, hey, nigga, calm down, bro. I know you got that hate in your heart, that hate in your blood. But back up. Back up. What do y'all think was going through Tariq's mind once they showed up, though? Now, mind you, this is Stansfield campus. This is... This is like ground zero. This is fucking war zone. There's still no security here. No one called campus security and said, hey, there's a nigga kicking through a door with a white guy that appears to be high. And then there's some lady. Like she got a, you know, I think it's like a $10,000 Louis V on. I'm not for sure. And a guy in all black. And they're yelling about something. No one's calling no campus security, no nothing. But we know Stansfield, they just don't give a shit. No one cares at all. Kane stepped in like, yeah, Kane in here like, hey, man, get away from Monet like he a bodyguard or something. But anyway, no one knows where Diana is and we need to get on the good foot. Tariq tells Monet, you know what we got to do. We got to go get him. So, so Tariq leaves. Captain Saberho, you remember? Well, that's later on. Captain Saberho goes straight to Effie's room. No detours. He leaves Braden. He goes to Effie's room. And, and it just makes you think of, who can I run to to express this pain I have? Who can I run to when I need love? He can't find Diana, so he goes to Effie's room. Effie, man, I don't know who to trust, man. They all out here bullshit. We got to find Diana. Now, mind you, all of the shit that Effie's done, you always got to remember that Leffy fucked up individual. Set Tariq up, but Tariq keeps coming back. Something just keeps pulling him back. Now, she is level-headed. Even though she sets this nigga up every other episode, Effie is level-headed this is one time we seen her on screen where she didn't lie this is one time we seen leffy not lie on screen she and chibonchi 
Nigga, God bless you. So she and the G Bone G telling Tariq, listen. Mo's been saying this for four seasons, and I want you to get this through your head. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and we never, ever trusted a Tejada. And that's what Effie's telling Tariq right here, right now. She's laying it out. And for some reason, when Tariq talks to Effie, it goes from the extreme, I'm pissed off at you, to maybe there's an opportunity for you and I to rekindle this past relationship that we had. You know when you blow that candle out? But there's still some wick on there. You can relight that candle. You can reuse that candle. But the only thing is if you use that candle too much, all the wax is going to be burnt out. Tariq is saying, how about we relight that candle? But first, I got to find Diana. First, I got to find Diana. Now, I have no idea why Tariq went to Effie and told her everything that's going on, especially after the whole situation that happened with Lauren. Remember, the whole thing with Lauren, it started off with Brusandria, but then it got worse, and Jenny Sullivan and everyone started getting on the case because of Leffy in this failed murder attempt. It's, it's all kinds of shit, man. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Kane that left his hat over here. Look, that's Kane hat right here. This is this is something Kane will wear. Kane got a jacket over here. Tariq was looking in the mirror. Look, when the episode, I mean, when the when the scene first started, they had that nigga Tariq looking in the mirror. That nigga Tariq was talking to Effie like, I don't know who I can trust. It's just the Tejadas. They're every time I look up, I'm like Tariq, what the fuck are you doing, man? Leffy just in the room. She ain't. She's supposed to be working on the application. We don't know what the hell she's doing. Oh man, she got the city girls on the wall. I ain't even see that. What up, Walter? Did y'all see that on the wall? Can't see it in that one. This right here is all Tariq needed to know when he came into this room. He got the City Girls first album on here, Girl Code. This is this is the first thing you need. If you go into a dorm room and they got this on the wall, just turn around. Just worry about yourself, fellas. Don't even waste your time, man. You'll get hurt in here. And that's exactly what she is, man. Effie, man. But she does give Tariq some sound advice, man. Don't trust anybody like you didn't trust me. So that's good for Tariq. Now, the next day, Tariq goes back on camp. Well, he's still on campus. Wait. Did Tariq stay in Effie's room? What up, DJ? Did Tariq stay in Effie's room last night? He went over there. Might as well stay. Like, stay for a minute. You know what I mean? Let's, let's just let's just talk. All right, look, we we both friends. Let's just let's just talk. Let's just have this open conversation. You know what I mean? This nigga Tariq slick, man. This nigga looking for Diana, but he stayed the night in he stayed the night in the room. That's what I'm looking at. He stayed the night. I mean, I'm be honest with you. Listen, don't take my advice right now. I'm a risky individual. Well, definitely not now, but when I was younger. Uh I probably would have stayed in Effie's room that night. I'm, I'm sorry. I probably would have stayed at Effie's room. You know, there's no point in me leaving if I'm going to stay on campus. You know what I mean? I'm probably just going to stay over there and just see what's cracking. But Tariq goes back on campus, well, goes down to his employment, and he starts talking to this freaky-ass nigga. Now, if you don't know who this freaky-ass nigga, this is one of Diddy's sons. He talking about, hey, what's up, Tariq? 
He said, hey, man, is Diana here? He said, no, nah, she ain't checked in. You want some more hours? This nigga Teresa, hey, man, I'm talking about no fucking overtime. So he's like, all right, bro. Now, Braden shows up. Remind, uh, a reminder. A reminder, this nigga Braden is trespassing. This nigga Braden is not supposed to be on Stansfield grounds after that whole incident where he took the stand saying he was selling dope and they kicked him out. This nigga is just on campus running around. But one thing about Braden, he does have this whole situation under control. Yeah, Tariq still has a room, but why why go to your room when you can, you know what I'm saying? We here now. We here now. You know he got a pair of shorts and a t-shirt over there. You know what I mean? Well, both, uh, like 50 had uh, the dude Quincy, the older son, he was on BMF, not BMF, my bad. He's on Raising Canaan, and then this is the, what the Justin one, he on here, and then he had Young Miami on BMF. So, I mean, business wise, you know, he getting people opportunities. So, I mean, you can't knock him for that, but freaky ass nigga, he a 69 guy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. OK, so we back in here and Braden shows up. Braden's like, look, man, I got the whole thing set up, man. We good to go, bro. I got the operation running. Now, Tariq is still looking for Diana. And you hear Braden say, hey, bro, are you do we really need to go for like, you know, what I'm saying revenge? And Tariq's like, yeah, man, I got to get Diana. I got to do this. At this point, is there a reason? From what we know, Monet knows that Tariq was a part of this plan. And Tariq said he didn't do it. And we even heard Diana tell Monet that uh, someone else showed up. Why is Tariq so pressed to get Diana at this point? If if there's a truce with Noma and Monet's like, hey, we good. Kane, don't go after Tariq. That's kind of what Braden is saying. Like, hey, why do you need this revenge right now? I think I think Tariq knew that Diana was pregnant. And he's just been trying to get her. Because what would be the point of being so pressed to go after her? Knowing that Monet, like, okay, we know Drew and Diana crossed Monet. We know that they crossed you, Tariq, to try to set up you know, saying your mama, but hey, at this point, everyone's cool. Yeah, she put Tasha in danger, but Monet ain't going after Tasha no more. Remember, Monet just said, Hey, man, you thought I was going after your mom, but I ain't do that. It was Diana. So it's like, Hey, all right, let, let Monet and them handle Diana. Ted said he can't let that go. Exactly. Hey. And that's what Braden, for the first time, look at that. Y'all don't want to hear this, but Braden on that, when Braden get on that, <laughs> whoo, that's that peer. When Braden get on that, Braden, his brain is actually starting to work. Ever since Braden took that first hit, we got parties cracking. We got a whole operation cracking. He's telling Tariq we don't need to be going after uh, Diana for revenge. Remember episode one? What did Tariq tell Brayden when they kidnapped Becca? He told him, no, let's think about it. Let's go get some other advice. We don't need to be going to press Drew like that. But now that Brayden is finally on that stuff that's elevating them, that's how you know it's that pure. This ain't that bullshit. This ain't that stepped on. This is that blue magic. This is the real deal. This ain't red magic. This ain't butt knocker or whatever you want to call it. This is that pure right here. 99 percentile. Braden is on this and it's just opening up his creative thoughts. It's got him, you know, saying he's manifesting things. He's talking about we got a whole operation. We can go on the road, do shows. But Tariq, he ain't thinking like that. Tariq is thinking we need to get Diana. See, Braden needs to say, huh, do a little bit of this. I bet that'll change your mind. Let me ease your mind. 
bring you in this world. It is what it is at this point. Now, from there, we don't see Tariq for a while. We don't see Tariq for a while because everyone's running around doing what they got to do. But then we see Kamal. Now, Kamal, we'll get into his story on the administrative group. But he sees Tariq. He's asking around, hey, do you know Tariq? Hey, you know Tariq St. Patrick? I'm like, who the fuck is St. Patrick? Man, the leprechaun around here or something? No, it's a guy named Tariq St. Oh, you do oh, Tariq. I don't know Tariq like that. I think I heard that name, but I ain't for sure. St. Patrick, ain't that the lieutenant governor? Yeah, yeah, I don't know nothing about Tariq, but then Tariq shows up. And Kamal's like, hey, Tariq, where you going? Where you going? Let me talk to you. What you know about Monet Tejada? What you know about an eyewitness? Now, who do you guys think this eyewitness is? Because they're saying there's an eyewitness that places Tariq St. Patrick at the scene. Well, they say the description fits Tariq. Kind of a small build, roughly about 5'8", 5'10", brown skin, nice fade, designer clothes. Therese like, wait, are you feeding this same bullshit to Monet? Because if so, you putting a target on my back. That's the plan for Kamal and Don Carter. Tariq doesn't know this, though. But one thing he does notice is that the cops are always going to try to play you against someone else. So they might say, hey, we got a description of you and you fit the description. Man, just don't say nothing. So Kamal's like, man, if you know anything, come and talk to us. Tariq ain't about to go talk to no police. Tariq don't talk directly to the police. Tariq would tell someone else to tell the police, but he ain't about to talk to the police. Unless it's Ray Ray or Jukebox. But that's a whole nother story. He was just a kid back then, but he, you know what I'm saying, fire to get in. So he's like, look, I'm about to get out of here. But it does stun Tariq a little bit that he hears that there was an eyewitness. And now Monet's getting the call. So he's like, okay, uh, this must be a setup. They must be playing tricks on me. Kamal's like, yeah, I'm going to get this little nigga. This nigga going to fall for this trap. Now, as far as Braden goes, Braden is on some other shit. Now, Braden is in the room, and this is... Uh, This is one of those psychedelic, uh, natural, I don't even know what you would call L, but her room would have a, a distinct smell. When you go into L's dorm room, it's going to have a, a distinct smell. So you know you in L's room. She got the, the marijuana pillow, Braden over here doing a little gonkaina, but you know what I'm saying? She's one of those. Free spirited, should I say? Maybe not like a probably don't wear like deodorant sometimes. Just just living off the land. Now Braden don't care because you know he's a youth. You know what I mean? But he over here on that cocaine. She walking around. And Braden starting to run his mouth a little bit too much. A little bit too. Look how small that bed is. You can't even, man, hell no. You got to do your wham bam and get back to your own room. Well, Braden ain't got no room. Braden ain't even got a home. This nigga Braden just living on the range. But you go over here, like I said, it has that distinct smell. Braden starts running his mouth. Oh, man, we got the best product. We're going to be moving it. Y'all concerts. Y'all going to get a record deal. I know this guy named Lulu. He got a record company called Bulletproof Records. 
we're going to get you on there. There's a, a remix. We're going to put you on the streets need a body. We're going to sample that. And then we're going to put you on the remix. It's It's about to be crazy. Now, she is speaking some sense to him. But there's been some questions about. Is she feds? Is she undercover? Is she a, a CI? Because she's asking about the whole operation. And she's like, Brayden, maybe they ain't fucking with you because of the concert. They fucking with you because of the product. But he's like, nah, man, we got this new product. Me and Tariq, we about to get this thing up and running. Now, <laughs> she Holly 2.0. Hey, I like, okay, yeah, I like that. That's a good comparison. Yeah, because she talking about, first of all, we don't get high off our own supply. Secondly, she talking about, let me get some free product. Free product. Anytime. Let, let me, let me, let me, I don't know. How can I explain this? The easiest way for me to explain this is once a junkie, always a junkie. Now, when someone starts asking for free supply, that's when you know they're too far gone. That's when you know they're too far gone. Hey, man, let me get some of that free supply, man. Just off the top, man. ain't no one got to know. Whenever someone tells you ain't no one got to know, hey, someone got to know that you are around this kind of an individual. So Elle's talking about, man, Tariq ain't got to know. Brayden's like, well, and well, what she does is gets a little snorting and then she does a little something, something else. Now, <clears throat> She would have did all of that, and I would have told her, okay, thanks, and I'm about to get out of here, but there's no free product. For Braden, he's just caught up in the game, man. This is love right here. This is real love. Everyone put real love in the chat, man. This is real love right here. This is what Monet was singing about, that real love, you know what I mean? So she wants that free product. Braden, he's going for it. Hey, Walter, real love, brother, real love. Tariq gets the address. He pulls up on Salim. Salim opens up the door, but he ain't checking. He's like, hey, Tariq, what are you doing here? Now, him and Tariq ain't never really been on good terms. I know him and Kane had their issues. But Tariq comes in here, and he's like, where's Diana? He's like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Where's Diana? So he snatches Salim up, puts him against the wall. Salim's holding it down at this point. Salim ain't scared. Salim ain't, he ain't scared at all. He's like, man, look, I don't know. Salim has a nice place, though. This is where Salim stays off campus? If I had this nice of an apartment or whatever the fuck this is, you would never see me on campus. As soon as I got out of class, where am I going? Home. The weekend, where you going to be at, Mo? I'm going to be at the house, the crib, Dola. This spot is nice. Hook the PS5 up, be on the Wi-Fi, get a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, a little drinky drink, a little smoke. I'd be at the crib all the time. Fuck Diana. I'm trying to push up on Broussandria. Hell, I might even bring L over. L like to have a little fun. You know what I mean? L like to have a little fun. I'm bringing L over. Hey, L, what you doing this weekend? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mo, you want to have a little fun? I mean, what do you consider fun? Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. In my mind, I'm thinking, all right, let's have a little fun. But anyway, Tariq shows up. And he's like, where's Diana? Celine's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Tariq gets angry. Tariq slams him against the wall. And then he pulls that Thule out. Now, as soon as that gun comes out, niggas get to switching. You know what I'm saying? Got gangsters walking away switching. The gun comes out. That nigga said, listen, she's in Greenwich, Connecticut. It's about an hour and 11 minutes, depending on traffic. If you take the Brooklyn Bridge, you can actually go across the Brooklyn Bridge and make a detour. You can get there in an hour, seven minutes and cut off five minutes of your time. If you leave now, you can actually get there before 1 a.m., Tariq. Tariq says, see how easy that was? All you had to do is give me the information. But then Tariq started talking a little slick. He started talking a little slick. Talking about, see, you little bitched up. 
And for some reason, Salim thought that it would be a good idea to not go to Mo's training, to not go to Mo's training and try to pull the okie doke. Now, the okie doke, we already went over that move because we seen Drew perfectly executed. Salim never went to my training course, so he didn't know how to pull the okie doke. So these two get the tussling in two inexperienced people. Oh, e, ah, e, ooh, boom, bang, ouch, ooh, e. Tariq pulls that Thule out, and out of nowhere, Tariq gets in his feelings over Diana. I don't care what nobody said. He gets in his feelings over Diana. And y'all may have not heard it, but Tariq said, this was for Diana, you bitch-ass nigga. Fuck. R.I.P. Salim, y'all. Well, not really R.I.P. But Tariq, now now, now Tariq is looking like, oh, man, I done fucked up. Like, yeah, Tariq, you done fucked up, man. Yeah, you done fucked up, man. Salim ain't make it, man. What y'all think? Y'all think Salim made it? Or is Salim, he done? Is, is this the end for Salim? Did he make it or is this the end for Salim, y'all? <laughs> At the hood. Every night I got to fight to prove my love. Nigga, if you got to do that, you need to cut her off. Damn, man. Not they got rid of a hero, a true American hero. R.I.P. Salim, y'all. R.I.P. Salim. This brother had big aspirations. He was um going to run for class president. Um, valid Victorian. Um graduate with this uh with with honors uh summa cum laude um the kid was on his way the kid was on his way damn 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 we gotta do it one time for him we gotta do it one time for Celine, man Peter Celine. But the show goes on. Time to go get Diana ass. Skirt, skirt. We done pulled up to Connecticut. We done pulled up to Connecticut. <laughs> Broken glass everywhere. Tariq catches Diana in here browsing through, you know what I'm saying? Us Weekly. Then she's in the refrigerator. It's a double door refrigerator. It's a big ass refrigerator too, man. It's the real deal here. So she in here kicking it, living the lavish life. What's the song? Uh, G L A M O R O U S. Yeah. <laughs> Fast line up in the sky. Champagne living the life. Diana's in here kicking it like she ain't on the run. That nigga Tariq popped up like, you kind of comfortable, ain't you? She tried to run about the front door. Tariq pulled that thing out and told her, listen, calm your ass down. You ain't going nowhere. You set my mom up. You tried to get her knocked. You're done, Diana. Tariq, you can't do this. You can't do this, Tariq. 
You can't do this. Why can't I do this shit, Diana? See, it's just too much talking. It's too much talking. It should have been, you comfortable, ain't you? Tariq, you can't, bow. It ain't Tariq nothing. 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 As soon as she said Tariq, I, I, I ain't trying to hear that shit. The thing about a St. Patrick is, once they involved with a woman, and that woman, Reek, Jamie, you hear those names? When they call her by their nicknames, it's something about these St. Patrick's. They go from tough guy to... Whenever Angela used to call James Jamie, that nigga changed up everything. She reek, reek. This nigga, why can't I shoot you? Like, nigga, pull the trigger, nigga. You just shot Salim and ain't think twice about it. She set Ma's up. She set Ma up. Pull the trigger, nigga. Pull the trigger, nigga. Pull the you see what I'm saying? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. That's all he had to do. And once Monet came in, look, all you got to do is just duck and turn up. Get Monet too. She said, Tariq, wait, you can't do this. Why can't I do it? I'm, I'm. She's pregnant. Monet showed up. And Monet got fly as hell too. Monet got fly as a mother alpha to pull up. Monet and pulled up an hour and a half. She's pregnant, Tariq. And if I wanted to shoot you, I would have shot you by now. I'm like, damn. So what's going on here? The Tejadas didn't have a change of heart. The Tejadas, they're a decent family now. They're not a crime family anymore. What's going on here? What's going on here? But Tariq hears this. And did y'all see how Tariq ran out of there? Tariq ran out of there. Tariq ran out of there. <laughs> She's pregnant, Tariq. This nigga. I would have told Monet I don't give a fuck. When, when Tariq left, right on the side of Monet's. They, they say if you get him right behind the ear, the um, double arigata, yeah, that um, double arigata, uh, abogata or abogata, whatever that thing is right there. They say that they right there that turn that that that, that control your goddamn uh equilibrium. Yeah, they say if you hit them right there, they just drop straight down. I would have walked past Monet, whoop, whoop. and then I would have got Diana and said, "We revisit this again." Pow! I see you in hell, whoop, whoop. and been done with it. This nigga Tariq then ran up out of here. Debo to snatch his chain. He got the fuck up out of here. Now he ends up leaving here and going to the club. Now we got the Stansfield three up here. Bushandra is thicker than a motherfucker. But L high as a bitch. <laughs> L so high today she can see tomorrow. You feel me? <laughs> I'm so high today I can see tomorrow. Then we got Young Blue. We don't even remember that nigga burst. But anyway, they got this underground shit cracking off. Tariq's like, man, this shit crazy. Tariq's smiling like he ain't just catch a body. Like he ain't just find out that he's a father. This nigga Tariq is the happiest, uh, the happiest killer we've ever seen. This nigga went straight to the party talking about, let me get some drink. Let me get some smoke. They didn't clean up the Saleem body or nothing. This nigga just dipped out, went to Connecticut, was about to pop her. Broke the glass, drove all the way back to New York to come to the club. Now, this building, this is a, um, this warehouse is up under the school. Did y'all hear Braden? Braden said this warehouse is up under the school that no one knows about. Like, nigga, what? 
But anyway, they get the operation up and running. They got the no lie. Your order is ready for pickup. Present this QR code to the cashier. Now, this is the same setup. This is the same setup. Now, remember, Effie was the one that actually set all this shit up for no cap all or all no, 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 no cap all frap. So I can I can imagine that Effie might hack into this at some point. But Braden got everything up and running. Depending on the shirt, depends on how much drugs you're going to buy. There's little compartments up under the, uh, the canisters. So it's running like clockwork. But this is the same way they got caught up the first time. Someone's going to find this. Um, uh, this website, they're going to go on there. They're going to accidentally order some shit like this is going to spread too fast. And it's not like the actual dark web because you guys are here every single night. Like, this is exactly what Braden was on the stand for selling drugs. They're like, OK. So you had the. um this is the third matter of fact this is the third time we had the operation on the roof with the qr code but what they do put a fucking camera up there now they got a camera of niggas going up there to pick up the drugs then all cap no frat was online also now we got this no lie online like see career criminals they call them that because they continuously get caught that's why they're called career criminals. Like they're employed by doing the same dumb shit over and over, and they could just continuously get caught. Does this sound good? Yeah, but let's be real. Niggas on campus about to be turning up. Man, this is a club called No Lie, nigga. No lie, no lie, no lie. I, I, real niggas say we're true. But anyway, Tariq down here, he's smoking a little bit of that dodo. Now he's sitting down at the edge of the damn bar. They got drinks in the air, smoke in the air, and he looks down. This is how you, this is how you, hey, I give Tariq some credit. I give Tariq some credit. You know you sitting at the bar, you peeping, you know what I'm saying? I went to this little event tonight. Um, seen this one woman, you know, I introduced myself. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really put that work in. I'll see her around again. But, you know, I did the little introduction. You know what I'm saying? My name, Mo. I'm your local, <laughs> your local pimp. You feel me? She's like, oh, you're so funny. I said, yeah, you know what it is. She's like, you going to drink tonight? I said, no, I got to go home about like an hour, take me a little nappy nap, and I got to get on the live. She said, alive. I said, yeah, I got to go talk about power. She said, oh, well, I'll see you around. I said, hopefully, hopefully. But Tariq is peeping around the room. And he looks, and who does he see? He sees Anya. So he walks down there. He's like, what up? She's like, nothing. He's like, I'm going to get whatever she's drinking. She's like, I could buy my own drink. Now, that's what you want to hear, fellas. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear, you know what I'm saying, when you go talk to a woman at the bar, you want to hear one that say, I could buy my own drink. Because now it's like, cool, I ain't got to buy no drink. Now you can just get into the conversation. Now, you could be a gentleman, and this could help out, but it could backfire a little bit later on. But go ahead and buy the drink anyway. They down here, they got plastic cups. These drinks can't be no more than like five bucks. You can spend five bucks for a number. You feel me? But she's like, oh, my name is Anya. He said, my name's Tariq. St. Patrick. St. Patrick. Once Tariq hears her name is Anya, he's like, you know what? This is exactly what we need right here. I need to get in bed with this one. I'm not talking about in bed, literally. I mean, if it happens, but I'm talking about in bed like business. This is how you work. This is how you maneuver in a crowd full of vultures, y'all. This is what you do. I give Tariq credit for this. I give Tariq uh, an A. I give him an A for this. This performance was great here. He crept up. You know what I'm saying? He sized her up. He looked at her. He's like, yeah, I can see you getting money. You know what I mean? You don't need me. Look, you don't need me to buy you anything. You don't need me to buy you anything. He should have flipped it. Now, you got to be cool if you're going to flip it, though. Well, shoot, you got like that. Matter of fact, let me get a um, let me get a double Hennessy on her. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, you didn't put that on my. Oh, no, I'm just joking. No, but let me get both of these drinks. And boom, now you're in there. Now she's like, oh, you think you funny? You think you slick? I give Tariq an A for this. He called a body earlier. He's Captain Save. Well, he's President Save a Hole because he let Diana live with a baby. 
So he's he's way above Salim. And then he came and got it on you. So yeah, I give Tarika A. I give Tarika A. What time it is? 537. All right, all right, cool. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're off the clock with Tariq. 